this program is probably unlike anything that I have seen before because it raises standards internally for the company. Now, everybody that does a new project is actually setting this high bar. And to be honest, I don't think it's fair because this moment in time was so special. There were so many stars aligning. And as we know, in the universe, stars doesn't align every day. So we were lucky to be able to do it right and to leverage a very historical moment. Um, we were very successful both online and offline um, with the Dear Mr. President campaign. And digital video was a key part of this program. But before we um, actually take you through the results and the stats, because I imagine that that's one of the things that you want to do. I think it's very important to understand first what this relaunch meant, uh, what refresh everything that come in. Uh, around the November last year, the brand decided to make a big shift in its positioning. We relaunched a new package. I'm sure most of you have heard the logo conversations on the blogs and on internet we actually decided also to reposition our brand. But not without losing ourselves. We have always been a brand that is about change, it's about, it's about youth, it's about new generation, it's about optimism, it's about hope. We conducted a study that actually um, um, told us that four out of five consumers have a positive outlook on life. Millennials especially, 95% of them are optimistic about the future. They think their careers are going to bloom, and they, they are not fearless. And they are one of the key forces behind this nation. If not, look at who we have as a president. We know that millennial generations had a key, key part of electing who we have today as a leader of this nation. So millennials has been always part of Pepsi, but it has been harder and harder to reach them every day. Uh, they are, let's, let's call it they suffer kind of a ADD. They text, they are on Facebook, they are watching TV, they are with their iPhones, they are everywhere. So they need completely different ways of engaging. They upload videos all the time. They, um, 80, I think it's north of 80% are in social media. Uh, they are watching TV and movies online, so TV is not even, it's not the first option for them to see the series that they love. So we needed to engage these guys at a deeper level. And that's why we posed a challenge to a number of agencies out there. Um, we talked about hope and optimism. We talked about the new brand DNA. We talked about what were the plans and we told them, you know what, New Year's is going to be the springboard for our launch. New Year's is going to be the time where people make uh, the new, the famous New Year resolution. People want to volunteer again. People say that they are going to be better. It's a moment in time when people want to make change in their life. So change and New Year's were key for us. But the most important thing that was going to happen in 2009 was the coming of a new president uh, into our nation. And it's not only a new president, it's what a president. So we wanted to make sure that we could not only leverage um, New Year's, but most importantly, take this worldwide event and make it very, very ownable for us. Can, can we add value in that experience? How do we make sure that as a brand, we don't interrupt one of the most important historic moments in this world? How can we help consumers and be the brand that does something with them? How can we help them voice what they feel do they have something to share? And we know these guys always have something to share. If not, look at the booming video, uh, digital video uh, that we have in YouTube as a platform. So um, we engaged our GA after a fabulous speech. They sold us. They sold their idea immediately. Again, was the right thing? Was the, um, it just felt right. Um, all of the other agencies came with great ideas, but this is the one that answered the question that we were looking to get answered, which is what consumers will do with Pepsi. Like, for us, the digital experience is about offering utility, adding value. So what consumers will do with Pepsi? And dear Mr. President was definitely the one that answered the question the best. Dear Mr. President, for us, was the right metaphor, 
the right medium, the right moment. Everything came together. We were going to reach out consumers, not only in a website-centric program, because that's the beauty of what RGA brought to the table. They were not going to do one just more flash microsite that was you know, pretty nice and probably very heavy to upload, and consumers will be there two or three minutes waiting for an experience to happen. We were going to reach out consumers where they were. It was about the YouTube channel. It was about Facebook. It was about uh, Tumblr. So we were in a full digital ecosystem that reached out consumers where they were. And I think that's what it worked. And I think I'm not going to continue speaking because we produce a beautiful video uh, that tells you the story in a much better way than I will be able to do it.